How's it going everyone? It's Art here again and today we are in the Haltech booth and I'm here with a very good friend and partner, Sean Bassett. How's it going, Sean? What's going on, guys? So you must have seen Sean on the internet. He's been, uh, he's been around for a while. He's a, he's a big time racer um, and this is his personal race car, the Datsun Z. Tell me about the car, like what, what's it for, what's it have? Yeah, so it's what's left of my 1974 240Z. Not much actual 240Z left. We just left the bare minimum of what the good stuff was, uh, cut out all the bad, which is basically made me do this to this thing. Um, yeah, we use it for Pikes Peak Racing and Global Time Attack events. And yeah, she's uh, been tried and true and our little uh, workhorse. What kind of engine and drivetrain do you have in this? So it's uh, an aluminum 5.3 out of a Chevy Silverado, but it's a fully built, you know, motor. Um, it's not much stock stuff left in it. Uh, it's got a Garrett uh, G42 uh, compact turbo and can make about 850 horsepower easily. We never run in at that because the car weighs about 2,600 pounds. So we keep it about 600 and it's still ultra scary to drive. And then we've got a uh, BMW DCT paddle shift transmission behind it, 200 millisecond shifts. So it's pretty scary. <laughs> um, talk to me about your shop because um, you, you have a lot of customers that come by and you kind of do a turnkey installments for, for race cars. What If a customer were to walk through the door, what could they expect out of your shop? Yeah, so uh, we're pretty known for doing time attack ground up builds. So we'll take your rolling chassis of your favorite, you know, um, platform and then, you know, essentially turn it into something like this all in house. Uh, we really don't outsource much. We just get chassis and things like this come out the other end so it's uh it's pretty cool a lot of people give us a lot of freedom to just you know do our thing and time attack and pikes peak has been really popular for us as far as customer builds and it's really nice to be able to focus just on those types of cars and not really have to do much stuff else in between so it keeps us passionate about what we do and it's, it's been a lot of fun where where is your shop located and what's the name of your shop in case the uh, audience is wondering yeah so uh the name of the shop is attacking the clock racing and we are located in Tavares, florida and uh this this car i know it's been around before and it's been racing but it looks completely different. What, what have you done for this year? Yeah, so this year, uh, you know, when you own a business, your car comes last. So it was great for PRI to kind of like get a really big push to get ahead of our race season next year. So pretty much all the aero on the car is dialed, but we've got, uh, you know, we ran an aluminum, basically full under body, you know, from front splitter to rear diffuser uh, past couple years to just see like how much we hit it on curbing and how, you know, get a lot of the abuse stuff out of the way. So we've got the ride height dialed in where we're not gonna damage the uh, under tray anymore, but it's a full carbon fiber, uh, you know, from front splitter under tray to our new rear diffuser on the car. It's pretty wild. And then we've done a, a shark fin, like a prototype car. on. So that's gonna be really helpful for us at Pikes Peak when we've got a lot of, you know, 30 to 60 mile an hour turns where we, we need that, you know, lateral grip on the car, which is gonna be pretty awesome. That's what, you know, Formula One and, uh, you know, prototype cars use as well. And then we've got a new uh, APR GT2000 wing, which is a massive wing. It's got two single elements on it, so it's pretty big. And then, um, you know, for PRI, uh, you know, we had so much carbon on the car and it was completely refreshed and looked new. So we thought we'd just kind of debut the car with all the new aero just in full raw carbon but um, that doesn't look too great on the racetrack so we'll have it all wrapped up like we normally do but looks cool at the show and we are in the hall tech booth so what kind of management are you running yeah we're running their uh, r5 uh, nexus uh, so it's a pdm and ecu all wrapped into one makes it super easy for tuning and you know uh, power management and all that stuff under one program it's uh, been really great and then we run their uh, dash and sensors and pretty much the entire catalog. And man, that's one thing about this car is it's automatic. It turns on, it runs and drives every time. We don't ever have to mess with it. And um, yeah, it's been, they've been a great partner of ours as, as well as Vibrant. Well, it wouldn't be a Vibrant interview if we didn't talk about the fabrication. So what, I, I know you have like awesome titanium on here and some other really cool things, HD clamps. What do you have in terms of the fab work around it? Yeah, so um, basically everything is an HD clamp, you know, from end to end, so our intercooler to throttle body, um, you know, everything that we can use from Vibrant's always been, you know, that's a, the other thing too is reliability, you know, we, we don't get a whole lot of track time, and Pikes Peak, you got one shot, so it's crucial for us to use the best parts we can possibly source. Uh, we used Vibrant well before we were partners with you guys, as you know, 
And um, it's just crucial that, you know, although our end-to-end -end locations are nice and sealed and we just, they're automatic as well, we don't have to worry about, you know, any kind of issues, so. And I appreciate that a ton. Um, you're a fabricator as well. When it comes to actual welding and stuff, what do you like about the vibrant parts? That they're just like, I don't have to like over prep them and you know, they're usually pretty good to weld right out of the box. You know, you clean them up with acetone if, you're, if it's aluminum or something like that. But um, other than that, you know, I've welded some challenging stuff before and you know, Vibrant's always been super easy to weld. It's like, uh, I don't have to think about what do I got to do to set it up. It's just hammer it on and, you know, and be done with it. And it fits always uh, really great. And, you know, it's par for, par for the course for Vibrant. So it's been easy for us. Awesome, man. I really appreciate you saying all those great things about us. Uh, if our audience wants to find you on social media, what do they look for? So our uh, shop account is at Attacking the Clock Racing on Instagram. And my personal one is at SeanB26. Uh, you can also check out attackingtheclockracing.com for bookings and services and all this you know kind of stuff that we do. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sean. Appreciate the time. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below if you have any other questions. I'm sure Sean will jump into the comments and get back to you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Thanks.